All right, back now. We're on to uh, step seven now. Step seven will be securing the belt to the stepper motor for the Y axis and the print head. The three things that we'll be needing, or five things, five pieces, will be number 41, which is the belt. It will be a little long. I have to trim some myself right now. Uh, took a dry measurement and uh, as you can see, I had a good little strip left over. It might come in handy later. You're gonna need two of the M3 by 10 screws, which is number 24. And two of the M3 flat washers, number seven. For this process, we are going to flip this over just to make it easier to view and, of course, easier to handle. Now, I've already pre-drilled one hole. The other hole I have marked, and I will do right now. So, yeah, I get to use my power drill. Now, right now, I'm using a 3 32nd inch bit just to do the pilot hole following with a 1 8 inch bit and we'll do that now. Now I'm drilling the hole in reverse because when the rubber does snag it does want to spin around the drill so be mindful of that. Of course if you don't have a drill I'm sure a heated uh, poker of some sort may work. Be careful when you do that. You don't want to burn yourself. center. Love DeWalt. Everything I got is DeWalt. I have to say these batteries are a lot stronger than a 20 volt series but that'll be another video. One day maybe. Okay, eighth inch bit. I wouldn't recommend drilling right into your finger. Uh, I do have some pretty tough calluses and I am running the bit in reverse. The bit is not sharp. Once I feel the bit hit my finger, I'll just kind of move it out the way. Hold it this way now and I'll ream it out a little bit. If you let it slow down and catch up, you can see Let's start winding it up on you. Like that. That should be enough. Okay. Wait for the train. Pretty long train. Uh, hopefully you can hear me. Uh, going to take the M3 by M uh, by 10 screw, put it onto the M3 washer. We're going to thread that teeth side facing the screw in through this belt. Feed some threads through, just to make it a little easier to handle. then secure that M3 nut belt and washer to the Y belt bracket on the bottom side of the print bed.
secure that down, holding the belt firmly so it won't turn on you. You might want to maybe underturn the belt, and then as you tighten it, it'll line it up straight, which worked out pretty good there. So when you're done, if you pull this belt taut right now, the teeth are facing up. This will go around the pulley on the motor. After it goes around the belt pulley, this part of the belt is now the teeth are facing towards the print bed. Feed that through the idler bearing or belt tensioner. made mine pretty tight. You just got to get there pretty close. Gotta thread that. On there. Okay, you're going to take the second M3 by 10 screw, fit a washer onto that, and then feed that through the belt. thread that screw onto the belt, wide belt bracket on the bottom side of the print bed and tighten that down until it's snug. This is really fun with the belt in your way. Rubber handle screwdriver and rubber belt, it's just a great combination. Careful with the belt that you don't want to stretch or pull on it too much, you don't want to break it. You do only get two. There's not enough to make two belts out of one. The belt is one of those parts that you might just want to order some extra. For me, that's really nice and tight. Nice smooth motion. Now the excess, you don't want these teeth lining up, they will snag against each other. So now I'm going to trim off the excess here. From skipping, tighten your belt uh, tensioner here.
double checking that everything ran smooth. Uh, should have been talking while I was doing that, but I hear a train coming, so I'll make this quick. Uh, basically, you just want to make sure belt tension is good. Full free movement. Be careful of the acrylic fenders at the bottom. They will uh, hit these bearings and zip ties. So, that's it for now.